just started editing the previous vlog and it's actually going pretty smoothly for once on my computer it all there's basically being no lag whatsoever right now and so i just got all the clips in order it's going to be approximately 30 minutes 14 seconds long uh i'm about to edit it but it's yogurt time first they say there's a severe thunderstorm warning it almost looks like it's gonna rain outside. You can definitely feel like it's gonna rain. The humidity is, well not humidity, but the, it just feels like it's gonna rain. Is a look at those beautiful clouds. I don't know about you, but personally, rainy weather and thunderstorm weather is my favorite weather of all the different types that are out there. And so yeah, I almost tripped over the clothesline here. Um, but yeah, it is just really nice out today. Yogurt time. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break from the Galador stuff and list some regular parts. And, uh, finally watching some Clone Wars again. I watched that a long time ago, but then completely forgot about it. Then realized we still have the Disney Plus subscription. I thought we had canceled that a while ago. We still have it. So, uh, just going to watch that while working on some parts. Gotta move my monitor, grab the light move down the bottom hinge below the monitors and then move the monitors back and then i can just press the light and now i got a light and now i need to find three containers to use but that's not as easy as it might sound because every single container is full is there anything here that i'm able to steal a container from i know i previously in just the last vlog had some cards about description for the parts, but I don't even know where that is anymore. I have no... Oh, wait. Here's one container, and that's where the card things are. Okay, so there's that one. Please tell me there's no bugs in there. Okay, there's no bugs in there. Phew. Um, so which container should I grab? You know what? I'll use this container and just list these guys first. These don't even seem like Lego, but I looked them up uh, before, and they are actually a Lego. And they're actually, like, a couple years old, so surprising. I don't see this too often, and it's not worth too, too much. Well, I'm trying to edit the title for the vlog, but my mind's just gone completely blank. I have no idea what to call it. It's just the reuse details function, so it's got the old one. I changed the number, but I don't know what to call the previous vlog. Um... I can't think of anything. My brain's gone completely blank. I have no idea what was in the previous vlog. So, I wonder what it's going to end up being. You'll have seen it by the time you see this, but... Yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to call it. Just finished uh, processing and checking for damage the 1x2 dark blue gray with bars. These are all the garbage ones. These on the table are all the good ones. And these ones are the ones that have minor damage. This container isn't as full as it looks. There's other stuff underneath it as well. But a lot of these uh, plates are cracked, surprisingly. I've had it with uh, several colors now. Did not expect that, but uh, that's uh, how it ended up being. So that's life. Um, got those separated now, so I don't need to worry about that down the road. Now I'm separating them, the good ones, and uh, I'll do the same with the minor damage ones between the modern version and the old version that has the logo in between the studs because I know some people might want specifically the older version because I know that these are for older sets and these are for newer sets, so I'll list them separate just for those few buyers out there who may want to get only the older version to complete some sets. And so I'm just checking through them now and separating them and then I'll list them separate. And I'm just about to make the previous vlog public. I first upload the vlog and then once it's all done, I keep it private the entire time while it uploads the HD and stuff like that. So once that's done, then I can just click save after I select public and now it's public and then I can just click it open on a new so page and that's a bit loud. Um, and then now it's not private. Uh, it says for use because I kept clicking on it to see if the HD had loaded in yet because it'll oftentimes still say it's uh, rendering HD even when it's done or something like that. So I just check every now and then. So that's finally done. So I'll just post about it on Instagram now and uh, get back to listing. I'm completely finished listing these uh, plates now. So got three empty containers. Uh, for the different types and so I'm gonna just get the next thing I might just get the last of these one by one clips finished and out of the way But I might switch it up and do something else first 
I just finished checking the one by one black clips for damage. These are the ones that have minor damage. These are the ones that are garbage. And these are the ones that are in good condition. Since this is an older clip and clips are generally more used a lot more than more damaged. And unfortunately, one of the saddest parts of the job is when I have to grab the garbage container. Let me confirm. Yep, that's the garbage one. And then I just have to dump it in there. Oh, these things are just covered in bite marks, cracked, and yeah, it's just garbage. And then at least I can save all these ones and list them as minor damage for a little bit cheaper than the good condition ones. But uh, it's done now. And then I only have the light gray and dark gray, but I'll do that tomorrow. It's 10.06 p.m. I'm going to list these and then call it a day. Yogurt. Currently listing these things here. And uh, these are garbage. These are minor damage. And guess how many I have in the good container? One so far. Yeah, these things are just not uh, that uh, good for quality wise. A lot of them are cracked and then just a lot of damage. See, oh, look at that nasty one there. That's bad. But I still am separating the light gray from the light bluish gray in the containers uh, from the stacks as I sort them into the containers. And uh, so, yeah, we'll see how many light gray there are mixed in with the rest. You can see some of them like that one there might be light gray, but then again, it could be a faded light bluish gray. Uh, let me check. Yeah, it's actually a faded light bluish gray one. That one goes into the garbage. But there's these ones. They've got to be light gray, right? Let's see. Yep, that one's light gray. So I'll put that one on the side. And yeah, list these. Finish checking these for damage and then list them. I am now done with the light bluish gray thing in my bobs, and these ones are the garbage ones. There's a lot of them that were cracked, have bite marks and stuff. These ones are the minor damage one, the majority of them, and there were a couple of them in good condition. And this is the result of the light gray ones that I didn't first already throw out because older light gray ones were like three or four of them already were just very badly damaged, so I threw them out. So then these ones I'll list after I list these ones. I asked for which container to list next, and I was given one with plates. White plates at, at that, so these ones are going to get yellowed super easy. Like, I mean, you can even already see, look how yellowed that one there is. So, I'm going to have to list these guys next. That is unfortunate. What even is that? <laughs> like, that literally looks like blood splatter. But... Uh, yeah. My sister is currently sorting the thin rings separated from the thick rings for the thingamabobs. She's got all these left to sort. And, uh, once that's done, then I'll probably be done by the time I'm with, done with this. And then I'll probably list some of those. So I just finished listing the white 1x3 plates. This is the ones that would have normally been thrown out, but this is sold as filler at three cents a piece right there. And so I got a fine box 141. It's somewhere on that table over there. Then in this container here, I have a bag of 1x3 white plates that have minor damage in box 153. And then in box 152, I have a bag of 1x3 plates that are in good condition. So got all of these guys listed now and so then i just need to that's box 141 so let's see if we can quickly find box 141 i'm pretty sure it's under here somewhere gotta move these galador posters out of the way move some random bags of minifigures um receipt from fedex uh move these just over here okay so this one can go right there sure Here's box 146, but I need 141, so this, oops, knocked some of that over. That's not the one I need. That's 142. Hmm. It's got to be here somewhere. You know what, it's probably in that corner. I'll check in once I find it. Turns out the box was actually on the shelf over there, so I went in, found my bag of filler. I've only listed the reddish brown in 1x3 so far, so that's why it's only reddish brown in here. So I'll open up the bag, put the white ones inside, and then put them back in the box. Sold one thing from the eBay room, turn the lights on. Sold this Lego set for the guy, the space one that I talked about previously. So this sold now for 35 bucks plus shipping. So this is the midweek eBay sales from uh, 
Tuesday when I ship stuff out till tonight, which is Thursday night. It's not much. It's only one thirty-eight in sales. A lot of cheaper stuff. Like I believe this guy was like five bucks. This one was like eight bucks maybe. This was twelve and a half. This was ten. This was nine and a half. And let me see. I forget how much was Digi Cole. Nine and a half bucks for him. And then I sold one Chima minifigure for nine ninety nine. It's going to the states, so they paid seven and a half bucks on shipping. So another Chima figure. And uh, so yeah, not too many sales, but uh, good to get some things moving. And then I placed a Bricklink order, and I should. I think I've ordered from that store before. I think their stuff typically arrives within a week or so. It's from Europe somewhere. So when that arrives, I'll do a video on that. And, well, a clip on that. And so now I'll pull the Brick Island Bricklink orders. And I'll, if I remember, I'll check in once I'm done that. I know last time I said that, but then completely forgot. Rice and yogurt and rice. Just sold another instruction manual. And I don't sell too many smaller instruction manuals or parts in general, but I do have a binder for sticker sheets and cloth and stuff like that. So this one says it is an SB00088. So I just need to find number 88. I check the codes here. Let's see. We're at 62, 86, 87, and 88. So it's in here somewhere. So we are looking for six nine four one so is it this one here nope that's six nine five six uh let's see here it should be here somewhere let's move some of these things out of the way oh right here i think yep six nine four one and i just sold this instruction manual for 30 bucks and uh let's see oh sold for 30 and I believe if I'm correct, yep, that is a very good price for it. Sold the most expensive it sold for. Uh, but that's because I was the only one in Canada selling it and no one else in Canada had for sale. And so for the seller, for the buyer, this item in this condition was likely the cheapest option available. So the buyer still got a good deal in the end when they factor in how much international shipping would have cost. And this thing is in overall very nice condition. So that's good. And, uh, Yep, so never be afraid to price high if you have a very rare part. They still sell, and buyers are happy because they place the order, and uh, works out in the end. I can't remember if I showed this in a previous clip, but I sold this tiny piece of fabric with all this marker and stuff all mentioned on it, and everything else, all the wear stuff on it. I just sold this piece of fabric right here for $35. That was a nice sale. Going to a fellow seller, I don't know if they're completing a minifigure to sell or for their personal collection or whatnot, but uh, yeah, there's a nice sale. So for this one, I just grabbed two business cards and I put the cape or cloth in a bag, then surrounded by two business cards, and then just put the two business cards in a larger bag, and then they also bought one piece hair piece, so I'll just put this in the bag once these are in the bag as well. I'll check back in once that's done. So now the cloth is in a bag. So now even if it gets bent in the mail like this, it just bends right back to how it's meant to be. And then they've got the hair piece uh, in there as well. So it's all put together. So that was a nice order. Got all the mail packed up, going out, going to drop it off and then buy a laptop. So next one I check in, it'll hopefully be with a laptop. Just got back, got the new laptop and a mouse. Uh, but it's yogurt time first. So I'm gonna have yogurt and then I'm gonna set up the laptop. Yogurt. Just got the laptop. Just finished the really basic setting up of it. I still have a lot to do. I just got my Opera GX browser uh, on with all the synchronization for the tabs. I'm just now saving all of the bookmarks and stuff like that. Although actually I might be able to go to settings and import that. Um, but I might want that different on this computer actually because this here is mostly for eBay listing and not Bricklink stuff. Uh, so I'll get all that stuff set up. And uh, yeah, so overall it's running decently smoothly. Immediately got rid of Edge as soon as I got it, like everyone does. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty large laptop, so that's pretty good. Larger keys, so that'll be easier for my dad who will hopefully be helping with uh, a little bit of the eBay listing. We're trying to teach him how to use a computer a little bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's going pretty well. I'll probably check in once everything's done. So yeah, the uh, 
cute giraffe asked for a shout out in the next video so here's a shout out if you got this far to the cute giraffe now i gotta fill up my cup just got to my pc and the mouse is moving but uh nothing's loading so time to try to oh wait what page is that i never clicked on the catalog oh is it well now i guess i exited this page for nothing um yeah well it finally oh no now it's not responding oh now it is responding okay let's try oh now it's not clicking um why is it the cursor typing icon thing on the mouse oh not responding now either oh now it is no now it's frozen oh i didn't click the exit on this page i don't think um oh now it's updating steam huh I feel like something's not working normally. The question is, can anyone figure out what this item is that I bought here? Unfortunately, I couldn't get one of the super good deals at the thing at $8, but I got it at the ten and a half dollar mark. But as you can see, it's the it was the cheapest one available, and I should be able to get a good return on this. I guess you'll have to see in a future vlog what that item is. But place your guesses in the comments below. I probably won't even say if you're right or not, but I might. I don't know. But yeah, this is the last clip for the vlog. And uh, thank you for watching. If you got this far, I'm just going to edit uh, the vlog on my computer now. Uh, I got a bit more Galador stuff here. I know the last, like, three or four vlogs I said I was going to hopefully have a lot more Galador stuff processed by the time the next vlog was out. But it seems like I, uh, haven't done that again. <clears throat> so, this is, uh, yeah, I still got this to do. Hopefully by the next time the next vlog's out, more of this stuff will be listed. But, uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully the next vlog will be out on Wednesday.